Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the Choice Eliminator add-on for Google Forms. And Choice Eliminator is an add-on that takes the options of which a user can see a number of choices on a Google Form. And this is particularly helpful um, for a couple of ways. Uh, for example, in this case there's a teacher that's offering some study sessions uh, during the middle of the week, uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday during advisory, but um, she wants to organize this and uh, have only five students come at a time. So she's using this form to have students indicate when they can come because she doesn't want to be inundated with too many students, otherwise you know, she might not help them. So she has this uh, form that she's made and we're going to use the choice eliminator to, uh, to after five people have selected any day, they will no longer be visible. This is also really helpful if you are, for example, in charge of your school's club activities and you are juggling clubs and signups and you want to say, for example, limit a club at a certain number of people and you can indicate how many people can sign up for that club before it's no longer visible on a form. So I'm going to show you how to do this from start to finish. First thing you're going to do is go to Google Forms and you're going to go to chrome.google.com, the web store, and you're going to search for Choice Eliminator 2, which looks like this. And then you're going to install it. I've already installed it here in my case. You're going to say... Uh, get add-on and it'll ask for permission in your Google accounts. Uh, once you do that, you go into your form. If you've already made your form, you'll have to refresh it. But it'll be appearing in this little sort of uh, puzzle piece. And there's different kind of choice eliminators that you guys can use, but for this case I'm just going to do choose uh, choice eliminator 2. I'm going to go to configure. And once I do that, a little box pops up. Uh, a little note from the author is that uh, this tends to work better with drop-down arrows rather than multiple choice sorts of questions. So just make sure that you select the appropriate format of this question for this. Um, when I do that, um, it's just now going to ask me, what would you like to come in? And it's going to eliminate choices, but we still have to set the conditions and have the choices. So I'm going to click this gear cog box. And I'm going to limit it right now just for one. And the author also notes that if you're limited to one, this may not be the best add-on. Uh, in the case of the teacher I'm working with, though, she would change this to five. Uh, also, if you want to use this form over and over, you can go to the Responses tab, Delete All Responses. But you're also going to have to come in here and you're going to have to restore choices here on the add-on as well. So even if the responses are deleted here in the form, you'll still see a count number here. So you'll have to go back in and just hit that Restore Options there. But we're pretty good, so we're going to hit Close. So now that we're done, let's do a live demo see how this looks like. And I'm going to go to the I and do a live preview. And I'm going to type in my email address and my name. And it says, when would you like to come in? And I'm just going to pick Monday Advisory and hit Submit. So to show you how this looks, um, when I go into my form, the responses trickle in here. But interestingly, if I also go to Choice Eliminator 2, I'll show you kind of what it looks like here. It says that when this window pops up, I can also kind of go check out my, my gear cog settings. But with this, it'll see a count of one. So you'll see a count of one here. And because of that, uh, it's going to stop and it's going to not offer that Monday uh, time again. So if I go to submit another response, then, for example, I'm not going to put my email address and name in here now. But if I drop down, uh, you'll see that that Monday is now missing. So this is a nice way of like managing workflow and meeting times with students so you don't get too inundated with like how many students are coming to see you. Uh, it's a great way if you manage clubs to set a certain cap on attendees before they cannot do that So or sign on to other clubs. So anyways, this is Choice Eliminator and happy Googling.